Hey, the Essentials Beings. Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Natasha Lund. If you are returning, thank you. So today I want to talk about why it seems like so many Christians are being deceived regarding the schemes of the enemy. Thinking that what's going on does not affect us. The fact of the matter is things that we have done or things that we see being done essentially affects not maybe our generation, but the generations to come. And the enemy knows this. So I want to give you guys a verse. Let's look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 12. It says, Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough. And they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. So the devil is the god of this earth. And it says, Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser, which is Satan, of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ, and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. It says, Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. And what's getting to me, I guess, rather, is why is it that so many Christians just get out the spiritual thinking for a second, or the religion thinking, and just think, if Satan had his place in heaven, right? We just read where it says Satan was kicked out of heaven. They had a battle between the angels and Satan and his angels, uh, fallen angels, and he was kicked out of heaven, right? So why do we think Satan is dumb? Why do we think Satan does not know? Don't you think Satan knows the promises of God? Don't you think Satan knows how wonderful heaven is? Don't you think Satan knows everything that God has promised you will come to pass? Don't you think Satan was trying to stop you from getting to heaven, even though he knows what heaven is like because he's been there? So why do we, some of us Christians think we can have a one up over Satan? We as our physical body cannot have a one up over Satan. We need God and the angels to protect us in our prayers. But I just want you guys to think about that for a moment. If Satan was in heaven, don't you think he would know what heaven was like? Just saying. I love you guys.